they are identical. So, material on top. I kinda gotta understand you. Today in the boot guy, we are Today in the boot guy, we are looking at this. You guys have been after me to do the full review on this. Now I flip size and so I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching. Until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, welcome back to the Boot Guy Reviews. I'm Isaac, and today we are going to be taking a really good look at this boot from Oliver Cabell. This is the SB3 in stoned, roughed out suede. So probably one of the first things you really have to do when you're thinking about purchasing some boots from Oliver Cabell is you need to really look at their website. You need to understand everything that they offer because we are looking at what I would consider a handmade boot. And when I say that, I mean that the pieces are selected, the materials are still cut out in the old fashioned way on a jig or on a, on a platform that allows them to have consistency per the sizing. But when you start looking at the website, and let's let's look at their website because I gotta say, as far as it goes today, when it comes to websites and all these new, smaller, they're not bespoke, but they're just littler, tinier, more kitschy shoe companies that are out there, especially these guys that are making boots, the website really tells a good story. So let's look at their website. So when you first load up their website, you're gonna see sneakers and their sneakers are similar to that of like a tree torn or maybe, I don't know, let's just say an Adidas, something that's a low cut type classic wasp sneaker. And I say classic wasp in the most endearing way I possibly could of using that to describe it. You know, Tommy Hilfinger, that whole wasp era, they do a really good job with a sneaker like that. They do a really nice, clean sneaker. But when you scroll down and you go into their boot section, you're going to see some really nice boots. And the Chelsea's are nice looking. They're different. The toe is different from what we're used to seeing in Chelsea's. But when you scroll all the way to the bottom, that's where you finally come to the SB3. Now the SB3, by the photographs that they're showing you, they're almost spot on. Now, a lot of the times what you're going to find is when you're looking at boots on a website and then you finally get them, especially something like this, like Oliver Cabell. You're not walking into a, an Oliver Cabell boutique or store anywhere around you and picking a pair of these up off the shelf and touching them. So you're really dependent upon that photograph. And it, it's pretty much spot on. The photograph to how the boot is and how it looks is really spot on and really nice. Now, Scroll through it a little bit more, scroll through the website, scroll down into the website, you see all the things that they add and whatnot. There's a few things here that really impressed me on their website. One is the detailed description, you know, just what you're getting, how it's going to look, how it's going to feel, and it's this type of suede, yeah, this is really going to age well and patina well. Now, a lot of you guys might not like the way it ages in patinas because it's going to look used and worn and... I know you guys like to keep your boots looking new, fresh out of the box new, but when it comes to something like this, yeah, you want it to get old looking. Now, what this is, is this is a roughed out leather. And so let's leave the website for a second, or you know what, let's not leave the website yet. Let's go to something that I really, let's, before we get to all the constructions and materials and stuff, I want to point out something on the website that I found extremely impressive, and that is going to be this. That is the price breakdown. Now, the price breakdown is something that I have never seen in a website before. I would love it if all of the boot manufacturers would do this for us so we could really understand what it is we are paying for when we are buying a pair of boots. Now, the leather, the pricing, the lining, the outsoles, the insoles, manufacturing, quality control, all of that comes at a cost when producing a pair of boots. And then when it finally trickles down to us, you know, it's of course it's going to be, you know, a hundred percent markup on top of that, which because you got to make money, right? You're in the business of making boots to make money. But I love seeing this. I love seeing this price breakdown. This was a beautiful part of the website. And this is really why I wanted to show you guys the website. So 
Let's move to some of the detailed photos that I took of this boot, and then we'll move into the whole of me wearing it around and trying it on so you can see what it looks like with a basic pair of navy blue khakis. And then we'll talk about size and fit after that. All right, come on, let's go. All right, so let's look at a few detailed photos of this boot. Now, what I want to talk about first is I want to talk about the leather. All right, this leather is outstanding. This Charles F. Steed from England roughed out leather. Now, I have reviewed plenty of boots made from this product before. If you haven't seen those reviews, I'll have them down in the description so you can see how other brands use this quality product. All right, so in the first photo, probably what you're going to see a big difference here from what you're seeing in the video capture is the color difference. And I just wanted to give it a little bit more life and a little bit more consistency to how I feel it's going to age. So this first photo, this is how it's going to look in, I don't know, let's just say in about six months from now. If you're wearing this on and off, you know, with the other boots in your collection, this is what you're going to end up with for color wise. Now, the other thing I want to point out here is here. Look at some of the detailing through just the way it laces in. Look at the way the nice thin stitch is added to this boot. And that's something that we don't see a lot. We don't see thin stitching like this in boots. We usually see a very heavy stitching, especially when it comes to roughed out leather. They're using a very thick thread, something like a V70 type thread. Rough here, they got a nice thin thread that doesn't take away from the beauty of the leather. So let me show you one more photo of the leather and just in a toe section, we'll probably come back to this toe section photo again when we're talking about the welt, but you see how it's just got a nice tooth to it. You see how it just kind of moves and flows. The leather is outstanding. The leather is going to be something that you're probably going to really want to keep this brushed and clean and keep that nap alive on the roughed out. But guys, just let me emphasize this. If you can let these get old, if you can let them get that kind of stained look from the bottoms of your jeans and just from every day with life, if you can let these things look a little I don't know, funky, scummy, something like that, you're going to end up with a really beautiful pair of boots. All right, so let's talk about this toe section because this toe section on this boot is, it's not odd, it's thinner than I was expecting. I was not expecting such a low profile. And yes, this is a very low profile toe, especially when you think about other boots that are wedge sole boots. Now, the whole model and styling, yes, it comes from a work but what we are seeing here is we are seeing the casual dress world get really impregnated into this boot. We are seeing all those accoutrements that make a casual boot, a casual boot, and a work boot, a work boot. This is a perfect marriage of both those boots. Just the way they put this together, just the way they added everything together. All right, let's talk about the Blake welt. Now, this is a Blake stitched welt. This is a resolable boot. This whole Vibram Christie sole, and I've spoken to great lengths about Vibram Christie material. I love it. I hate it. It has its place in the boot world. As a work boot sole, horrible, wears out too quick. As a casual boot sole, outstanding because it's comfortable, pliable, durable in a casual world and it always looks good. It always feels great too. The thing about the Christy sole from Vibram is that it's soft, it's pliable, it's extremely durable for a casual boot. Now, if you're gonna buy this and think that you're gonna go work in the backyard or just do some weekend gardening this, just forget about it because that's not what you're, you shouldn't be looking at this boot for that type of world. This should be the thing you're going to wear on the weekends. This should be your casual boot. This should be what's going to make you feel a little bit more rugged in an urban setting. So I always talk about laces, eyelids, and just the way the whole construction goes and how it contacts your foot. So the inside of the boot, you're going to find a leather lining, which is a wonderful touch, especially when you think about that you could probably pull these boots off in the summertime if you had to. If you were working in a retail environment and you just wanted to have that special look, 
You could pull these off working inside all day and you wouldn't get exceptionally warm. This is not like a winter outdoor boot. Because of the materials, the roughed out leather, the leather liner, it's going to be really comfortable, especially inside. Now, laces, eyelets, beautiful. I mean, the black eyelet fits in so nicely with the dark brown leather tongue. The different contrasting between the roughed out leather and the smooth leather on the tongue. And then they color match the laces. The leather laces are color matched to the inside on the leather tongue. That's a really nice touch. That is a quality move from Oliver Cabell. All right, so before I forget, before we move into the whole trying on and the fitting and just talking about that, let's talk about that insole because it comes with a very nice removable insole. If you call them sock liners, we'll call it a sock liner, but we'll call them insoles. It's a single density pour on insole. It has a really, really nice hand to it, and it's got a layer of leather across the top. So even in the hottest days, you're still going to have the ability to wick moisture away from your foot. The SB3, like I've mentioned already, is properly made for spring, summer, fall type weather. Moving into winter, you might want to wear them in the first three seasons before you move into winter, and then you'll have them all stretched out and ready for your winter socks if that was your deal, but I would not suggest this as a winter boot. But that insole, a single piece of dense pour-on, very nice, not too thick, not too thin, but enough to make it comfortable. And when you add that insole in with the Christie sole, that Vibram sole and that insole, that pour-on, you put those together and you've got a really nice combination. All right, so let's move into the whole just trying on period. Let's let let's let you guys look at what they look like on and how they can be styled or fashioned to your liking because of the color, because of the sole, and because of just the difference between denim and khaki and just dress slacks in general, how you could put a look together with this boot and it would still be, I don't know, a really good look. All right, gentlemen, let's talk about size and fit. Now, I understand how important this is. I understand how purchasing a pair of boots online can be completely nerve wracking. Now, the thing about Oliver Cabell, especially in this boot with the SB3, is that we are looking at a very narrow size scale. So we're 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And there's no half sizes available. They give you heads up on how if you're a 10 and a half, how you should probably go with 11 unless you really understand your foot size and you've been wearing sneakers and they can talk you down because they also make sneakers, they understand the sneaker last. So there's a lot of things that goes into a pair of boots like this that makes it a lot easier to size. One, this 
more flex, Christie sole from Vibram makes it a lot easier. It has a steel shank in there, so you get support. It's a German steel shank, and that's another thing, is that all of the materials are sourced within the EU. So you've got a German steel shank, you've got Italian interior leathers, you've got a Spanish midsole. I mean, you've got all these countries that are being thrown around into producing this boot, which is a wonderful thing, size and fit. So if I found the size 12 to fit just like every other high-end, mid-end type casual boot that I've tried on, that I've done reviews on. There really was no difference in size and fit. Now, my foot's a size 12 and most companies can nail a size 12. Most companies can nail a full size size, especially when you know your size, when you've owned a lot of different boots. The one thing I want you guys to be aware of if you're about to purchase a pair of these is look over the website deeply and understand what you're getting into when you're purchasing a pair of these. If you're looking for a casual work type boot that has a lot of character to it, this is perfect. If you're looking for something to double as a work and casual boot and you actually plan on working in this, probably look somewhere else because the materials are a little bit too thin and light for that world. You will burn through them a little bit too quick, but as a casual boot, All right, so that's the Oliver Cabell SB3 in this beautiful roughed out leather. Hey, if you're wearing a pair of Oliver Cabell sneakers, boots, Chelsea's, whatever you got on, please comment below. Let other guys know what you think of the brand, what you think of the product, and whether or not it's a good place for somebody to put their money in order to add something different to their collection. Guys, if you're enjoying my videos, please feel free to hit that subscribe button below and also check out in the comments box, check out the buy me a beer button, check out the buy me a cup of coffee button. Consider supporting the channel in that way. Hey, if you're about to pick a pair of these up and you've got some questions, swing over to my Instagram page. If you want direct contact with me, if you want to talk about what I think about size and fit and stuff like that, swing over there, shoot me over a personal message, ask me a few simple questions about the product. Please do not write me a paragraph lifelong story about how you can't make up your mind. That's not what I'm going to read. I'm going to read the simple questions, the very simple questions. The questions is, Will this fit me if I wear this boot? Simple questions like that. All right, guys, if you need some advice, swing by my Instagram page. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy, reviewing a beautiful pair of Oliver Cabell boots on the Boot Guy Reviews. I'll see you next time.